Traders, welcome back to another Relentless Recap. Guys, as you're tuning in, hit that thumbs up button. And if you are a new viewer, consider subscribing to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at stock VYNE as this was the one to take off and give us an opportunity. All right, before we get into it, remember that if you are looking to further your education here and, you know, start your journey as a day trader, check out my comprehensive course merciless markets university all right merciless markets university if you're not familiar with day trading or if you're having a hard time in the markets and you're looking to learn how to trade learn how to trade momentum this is all you need merciless markets university guys do not get caught slipping in these day trading streets in these wall streets all right uh, do what's necessary to ensure success. And that means following someone who is credible. All right. Whether me or anyone else, uh, preferably me, because, you know, I'm, I'm the most transparent trader here on YouTube, as I always say. All right. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, part of part of trading and, and being successful really is uh, following a recipe or a blueprint and, and not, you know, trying to invent the wheel yourself, which can be done, but it's usually much harder. All right. And so, my business partner and I, Marcelo, right, my friend, we are some of the most transparent, and I always like to say the most transparent traders on YouTube and just in the world because we show all of our trades day in, day out, and we do offer some great services here. So be sure to check it out, guys. Uh, yeah, with that being said, you know, check out our chat room and check out the scanning software that we use here, which is Momo Pro. These links will be down below, all right? Now, let's get into that recap. So, VYNE, Relentless Trader, what were you looking for on this stock? Why did you even trade this stock? What was it all about? Guys, each and every morning starts off the same, right? I look at my scanner, and, you know, if we come here to Momo Pro, I check and see the leading gainers in the markets. Today we have stock CJJD, SAI, VYNE. This is the one here that I traded, right? You know, at this point in time, it's up 38% earlier, more so around 50, 60%. You know, 39 million shares of volume and 3 million shares in the float. Float meaning, you know, essentially shares available for the public to trade, people like you and myself. Right. So when there's high demand, there's a, you know, there's a catalyst, there's some sort of breaking news as to why this stock is up. Right. V, Y and E. And we can even pull it in here. Right. V, Y and E. Guys, every day starts the same. Right. I, I come in, you know, six hours ago, nine hours ago, uh, therapeutics. Right. Uh, so, you know, there's a catalyst, there's a headline. There's a certain amount of supply, AKA shares available to trade, right? With limited supply and high demand, there then becomes an imbalance either to the buy or sell side. And that's what allows a stock like this one to be able to go up 40%, 50% in one day. You know, your blue chip stocks are great stocks, great for investing, great for even trading as well. But they're usually typically moving between, you know, one and five percent, one and two percent per day, right? Your your Amazons, your AMCs, and well, maybe not AMC anymore, AMD maybe more like it. Uh, but yeah, Ford, you know. So those companies offer a lot of opportunities. They're a little bit more liquid. You know, the shares on those stocks, the float available to trade, are in the hundreds of millions. So it's more liquid. You can take more size. Uh, but, you know, for those of us with small accounts, $25,000, $50,000, $100,000 accounts, uh, we can get more bang for our buck by trading small cap stocks, which is what these are. And these stocks, as you can see, have the ability to move a much bigger percentage gain than the other stocks, the Amazons and, and Apples, Facebooks of the world. Now, what I will say is that one is not better than the other, but they're both here and they both provide opportunity. And these small cap stocks in particular are volatile and the volatility presents opportunity. And when it comes to opportunity, 
I am able to capitalize by looking for something specific. I usually will come in every day and start off with my trend lines. Hey, what's the pre-market highs? In this case, 481, 481 for the pre-market highs, right? Hey, what's the pre-market lows, right? We had a low down here of about 334. We can see that coming into the open, it did bounce and then came back down. The high of that bounce was 362, right? So can we get over 362? If we do, can we see a move to the pre-market highs over time? And this is where my patterns and my strategies, my edges come into play. So relentless trader, what's the first area you're looking to buy this stock, right? And let's not forget, by the way, let's not forget to show some love to our daily chart and map out our 200 EMA, right? 637, the 200 EMA, uh, Pretty big indicator here, popular indicator in the small cap world, even the large cap world, respected by a lot of traders, right? Can act as support and or resistance. Likewise with these other trend lines and an indicator such as VWAP, volume weighted average price, this white line. Now, relentless, what's the first place you'd be looking to buy this stock if it does start to move in your favor? Well, first things first, let's remember the context of what's happening here. Again, if we break over 362, how likely are we to get back to that level of the pre-market highs? So I'm watching here. We, we, we do start off with a bit of an ABCD, right? This W, think of it as a W in the English alphabet, right? You know, some people will draw it like that, other times like this, other times even like this, right? And so all of this comes down to pattern and literally, you know, handwriting, if you want to think about it like that. So we're seeing an ABCD to start the day. And on top of that patterns within patterns, we also see a baby pullback, right? Micro pullback, right? This is how I refer to it. Baby pullback right here in this range. We get it high. We have a high. It then curls back down briefly and gives an opportunity for an entry. And so this is essentially a red to green, right? A quick dip off the highs and right back up. So a baby pullback, right? This provides an opportunity and this went from a high of 66 to a low of 50, right? About a 15 cent uh, difference. And this allows me for some of my first entries on this stock. Being long at 50, 52, 53, selling it higher over 60, 65. Now, Relentless Trader, how did this happen? How, how did you happen to make $1,000 trading these entries like this? Well, you know, for sake, for sake of this video, let's, you know, we'll use a 1,000 shares as the example. 1,000 shares, right? I'm using 1,000 shares. Now, of a, three, a $3 stock, right? 1,000 times three is 3,000. So I'm essentially using $3,000 worth of cash, right? 3K cash of my own money with 1,000 shares. Now, if I'm in this stock at 350 and I'm selling it at 365, that is 15 cents. I've made 15 cents as an investor. I bought this stock at 350. It's then made a higher move to 360, 65. And I've made 15 cents. Now, 15 cents on a thousand shares is $150, right? You can do 1,000 times 0.15 on your calculator. That is 150 bucks. So, in this, you know, between 9:31 and 9:32 a.m., I've made my first $150, like magic, right? Hard work. It looks like magic, but it's not, right? This is hard work over years, experience, trial and error to figure these things out. And so I've essentially done this 10 times throughout this the course of this day on this stock. I essentially that's what I did. I I I, I did that 10 times on the different edges and strategies and patterns that I trade, right? And again, 
I teach all these patterns right here in this course. So, you know, for those of you who do want to check it out, be sure if you're looking to start your journey, merciless markets, these markets are merciless. Do not get caught slipping in these Wall Streets, right? And by the way, uh, do I have to kill this fly here? I have my zapper for those of you who are familiar with this. Yeah. Um, let me make sure to show the, the heading here. Yeah, there you guys go, right? Check this out. This will be the first link down below. All right, a comprehensive course that goes from zero to advanced. The next pattern that I'm looking at here is a potential three bar play, All right? So the three bar play, you know, you have two candles, well, let's say three candles. You have the first one, you know, the second one here, and then you get that next candle that essentially makes the new high. And then you get a breakout like that. That's what I'm looking at here. So, you know, essentially, you know, picture the charting like this, right? Let's forget those other two candles happen for this particular pattern. Picture the charting like this. And right here, I'm watching to see, hey, can this make the new high? And right here is where I'm buying, right? Right here is where I'm buying this, right in this area here. Can we make a new high tight stop? I manage my risk, I'm in, it goes higher again. And you know, what is the difference here, right? In terms of price, we had a high of 94 and then a high of 405. Again, with a thousand shares, if I'm in at 94, selling at 05, there's another 10, 11 cents, that's another hundred dollars. So now, the, you know, it starts to compound and accumulate, all right? It's adding up, it's adding up, it's adding up. Now, you know, on the day you're up 203. And so I continue to trade my patterns and edges throughout the entirety of this day. You know, I'll talk about a few more here quickly. Uh, bottoming wicks such as this one, especially these two here. These two are amazing. This one, great. Uh, I think I might've missed this one because I was skeptical at the time. We are also under the context of a wedge, which is what's happening here, a much bigger version of a, a bull flag, right? We call it a wedge pattern. And then from there, we have some indecision. I had my drawings detailing, hey, this thing might go up or down. I think it's in the favor of the buy side to go up because the market has been strong for small caps. But it's indecision, it's sideways. And then it crashes down right here. I'm in this particular entry at 95. I'm selling at 411 for about another 15 cents of gains. But in this particular entry, I needed to hold much longer because this ultimately went all the way from 385. I'm in at 95. So let's say from 395 to 440, I sold at 411, which was much, which was much too soon. From here, we get a small bull flag and then it continues higher. And then eventually, you know, it pushes up so much, it, it gets extended and then it sells off. And that, that's essentially the day, guys. That was essentially the day, you know, coming in, uh, taking it easy, taking it slow, you know, slow and steady wins the race. And we got the job done making $1,100. And this was done between 9.30 and let's say 10.55 a.m., all right? Each and every day, I do this exact same thing. Am I am I green every single day? The answer is no, right? In fact, I'm going to show you guys my trader view metrics here. You know, showing you how my green versus red days are looking so far this year. And, you know, let's talk about it, right? So January 1st, 2023. Let's take a look at, at my green days versus red days. Here we go. I keep track of all my stats. I, I do view this as a business and I want to know every single thing about how I trade. So I'll use a platform such as TraderView. All right. Uh, yeah, January, February, March, April, win, wins versus losses by days. You guys will see so far this year, I had 50 winning days to 15 losing days. All right. Uh, on my winning days, I'm averaging 624. On my losing days, I'm averaging 400, which is a little on the higher side. Uh, but yeah, you know, we're getting it done. We're doing a good job. And we're going to continue winning. We're going to continue trading well, managing risk.
all right trading the patterns and edges that i know and love so much all right with that being said it's been relentless trader hope you did enjoy this quick recap here going over some of the patterns that i traded today uh, i'll catch you guys in the next one i am of course signing out